through. Champions have to brush that stuff off, and no one knows it better than a man like Zonic stood behind Vitality right now. Let's see how they fare. It's a CT side start on Forza's map pick. Yeah, right out long. Couple up cat late. That Xbox smoke did miss, but it's not the end of the world. No one punishes. Apex drops the smoke and gets back to safety. Often is Apex caught in the open in this catwalk position, so that can't afford to happen here and now. Flash on long, just dodged by Kenzie on a tight gap, but it's all way back to the mid to B anyway. Dupree spots it. Good info for Dupree, and he gets out alive. What a, oh my goodness. I would doubles up somehow, some way from the cross, and there's even Apex up closer to deliver one more. Finally, Chalfi in a 1v5, just looking to stay in the round. He cannot. They hunt him down. That was great. Uh, you know, from Dupree getting that quick info on the double back because, you know, at the same time that they saw the cat take, they also saw a guy at long. So that could have easily looked like an A play. A very quick turnaround for fours, but read well by Vitality. And great shots from Apex and Saiwu to shut out the round. Some tech issues, perhaps, as we get things acclimatized. But yeah, I, I was surprised to see Vitality pick Nuke against fours. I, I feel like. It's almost weird to say, but given the kick up the ass that was losing your map pick and going into your two very loose maps, I feel like there's still a very good chance that Vitality can come in and reverse sweep this series. Yeah. If their individuals step up, it's always a caveat, but these guys are more experienced. These guys are head-to-head, pound-to-pound, -to -pound better. There were a lot of out-cooled rounds by Jerry and that T side towards the end. Uh, the, the, some of the abuse they gave Apex uh, in that main and door position was really, really nice. It's going to be a lot harder to find these gaps on maps like Dust, uh, especially where, you know, it's just the, the CT sides are so rigid, so solid, and stars can always shine on these aim duelly maps. Yeah, and you know, even though there is this idea of like, you know, Dust 2 being like a real home CIS map, it's one that even even when you kind of look at Falls historically, they, they've not been without their woes here on Dust 2 in times gone by. Not been uncommon to see matches that maybe they should win go against them. So I'm inclined to agree. I don't yeah. think they're entirely out of the woods. And there's also this idea of like before you came into that first map and you say, all right, let's give it our all. Let's give this everything we got. Well, now the kind of stakes are raised. Now it's like, okay, if we win this next one, we're actually going through the major three and oh, like now it's kind of starting to dawn on you. And that can pump you up, but it can break you as well. So let's see what yeah. happens. Crossing mid for Vitality. Expel a smoke to make that happen. No danger of getting tagged crossing by this scout on Zorti. Quick door smoke. Of course, it's Jerry throwing that one. Kenzie throwing another door smoke. Jerry said, mate, I already did it. Door smoke, don't you worry. Well, it's a late one. It's going to land a few seconds after that one disappears. The timing's actually pretty perfect, but again, this is a ruse, a rumbling. A lean towards B for Vitality. Oh, is that, that's such a big spot for Zaiwu. He's about to rotate B off of the util, but he sees that scout up catwalk. He goes back to CT Apex again in the open, as we can expect, but that's the benefit to being in this position. They walk right through with no flashbang, and Apex bangs them both. Flash the path of fours, and only two Ts left up, even being flanked from middle. But Dupree holds off and waits for fours to commit. Ooh. You always get a little nervous when it's a Zorty scout like that, but all well and good. Zai Wu looking good at them. It's a clean start out of this guy. Gonna need to have a lot out of him, really. Yeah, he was uh, he was really good on CT side. He just started very very slow. Didn't have the orbs on T half. Got to remember, but you know the the recovery was nice. However wasn't always in the right position to win rounds and was often going one for one, which as we know is not standard Zaiwu rounds. Full eco here, and yeah, time to farm. Get up top mid, get in the face. We already saw how oppressive Vitality were just in that five of one, everyone swinging together. So they want to keep those contained and again. Oh, that's a beautiful dig. Shouldn't get away with too much more. Poor Shalfi. He got spammed through the long corner, just trying to take a little jiggle. And Dupree is all the way up in top mid. They're trying to win this Deeg fight over at long, but a double-layered kind of staggered peak. 
Not going to happen. And even though Jerry is all the way through B, and he's got a P250 and a 1v4 with the bomb down long. If anything, he is kind of begging to die at this point. Going to try and do some damage on the way out, though. And as he jiggles this, they see him now. That's a kick. What? <laughs> <laughs> P250 does you get one that. before all is said and done. You However, Zywoo was else. there to train. So it's all well and good. Vitality 3-0. and And now we have this investment coming through for fours. Yeah, that's going to make you feel good going into your gun round. Just exiting with that little tap. But yeah, rifles on rifles on an AWP for Zywoo. Sooner the better on the CT side of Dust. And Zywoo... Full of fiber, he's just going to float around on the CT side, run all over the place. Starting long, going back to the CT spot, or back to the catwalk rather. No one to boost him yet, but Apex is on the way, and that boost gets knocked off by the flashbang, fortunately enough for fours. Zaiwu goes from long to cat to CT spot. He's everywhere and nowhere all at once. But fours are still hanging around in lower with four players. They're trying to cause enough commotion that someone pushes on the long side and fees Norway a kill, but Masuta ain't making no mistakes. And Zai Wu, he's here to break faces. Flash up catwalk, but he just wants that cross because the bomb right now is trapped lower. If this was to end catwalk, Shalfi has to join him. Fantastic grenade. Bomb gets thrown, but not too well. It falls on the ground. And Zai Wu saw that throw as well. Oh, so I was rotated and now the bomb goes back to lower. God, they're really playing with this info on Vitality. And they've pulled the wall right over their eyes. Oh, hang on. Oh. Hang on. Can't even tell where this one's going. It will be A. So Zaiwu now has been given ample time to get back in the bomb site. Yeah, Fours, they're running the risk of kind of outbraining themselves here, right, as they go back and forth. Now go walking into the stack. It's a lot of damage out of Apex, but no kill found. What? Oh, Jerry's very, very deep and good for a one and done. But oh, Wu holds on, it. dropping that's the bomb it. out on short. And with it, the round. Kenzie had dropped down to CT earlier on. And he needed that kill if he wanted to have any chance of winning it. It's all taken away by this Zywu AWP. 9-0 right now. Looking to repeat his debut here at the Major. Yeah, I don't think Force just realized how much info they were giving with that bomb toss, right? So I was just, I, it seemed like they were faking it out so they could drop lower. There, there were two down lower at one point, but they go back up catwalk, try and split with Norway on that long timing, and Vitality just were given so much time for Zywoo to go all around the world and then back up on A, and he hits the couple of kills that just win the round. This last kill didn't even need it, but it looks good as well. Yeah, it, it's one of these things where I think Fours come into this riding the high of Nuke, feeling like they were in the heads of Vitality through and through. And so they're still trying to go for these like kind of convoluted and like, you know, very manipulative of like the rotations for the opponent. But it doesn't feel like it's meshing right now because it feels like Vitality have come into this with a second wind. They're yeah. not defeated. They're not deflated. You know, with a team of this caliber, with the players, with the coach, with the staff that you are kind of joining it all together... That was never going to be the case. And I like that they called a pause. I think that was needed, honestly, to kind of just regain a bit of composure out towards long. Masuta's has doubled up. The attempt to take it has gone sour very, very quickly. But yeah, fours, they will need to course correct soon or else they're running the risk of Vitality. Them being the ones feeling like they've got the reads. They're in the head of Jerry. They're in the head yeah. of Fours. You're I getting frustrated because everything was working last map. It was all falling into place. And now you can't seem to set a foot right. That's a nice kill, though. Yeah, but he's got one man on, but you can see Apex is running. I mean, he can go through this smoke. It's Apex. He's going to yeet and try and chase down Jerry, who will dive out the doors. Molly in front of the smoke. Apex has an angle, but he gets tagged by the scout. Dishes out damage back. Just going to anchor the B site, playing 2-2. Leaves really nothing open for fours in this round. Zaiwu has the AWP on the car. And really, that's that's also the big ticket item. Like, winning a pistol, get, winning your first rifle, immediately getting an AWP, going flawless, and you're on one of the best halves to AWP in the map. So it's going to do a world of good to 
the number two player in the world, Zai Wu, waiting. They can run boost, but he hits these. Already know. We know he hits these. Why would he? Oh, that was even close on the pre-fire. Okay, Scout's going to tag him down. He wants to get out of the limelight now. Actually, I say that. He's running right in. He wants to take the fight. So on. It's clean. 11 and 0. What is this? Inferno against Cole? <laughs> And vitality, one hell of a resurgence here. You cannot, you cannot underestimate this team. You thought they were down. You thought you had them. After stealing Nuke away, Zai Wu has woken up. Yeah. I mean, he woke up in the second half of Nuke, no yeah. doubt. He comes into this like after already going yeah. through the low point. The difference is they could avoid him on Nuke, right? And they really were. They were doing a great job of putting him in retakes with orbs or, or you know, trading him in secret, but you can't avoid an orb on dust. It cannot be done. Zai Wu will find you. He will break down the door. Apex, one for one in middle. Jerry's gonna get that trade. Throws in the mid to B, but Zywoo beckons them, welcomes them into his sight. Yeah, right place, right time again. How late's the lurk, though? Masuta's got all this info. He's like, yeah, it's definitely B. And so Zywoo's now moved in to join up with Dupree. They both get a kill apiece. Forced out by the molly into this scout and caught by Jerry in the doors. Oh, He's opened up the B site. Dupree's going to slip out through the doors. Smoke Masuta's wrap all the way through. Sport is now arriving. This is getting very claustrophobic. That molly's not going to help matters. Oh, no. The spam from Masuta's given oh, up the no. flank. So now they know about him. Uh-oh. This has gotten wild very, very quickly. A 2v4 turn, 2v2. Zorty and Jerry still fighting tooth and nail for B site control. Crossing in the doors Ooh. is a death sentence for Magisk. And now it's only Dupree left standing. 1v2. All his teammates falling around him. He's gonna try and oh! swing, but it never comes down to that. The wall bag from Zorty to close. And that is a lovely round oh, out no. of him and Jerry. It's all happened again, Harry. It's a T side and Nuke all over. It's more 2v4s. It's more shutdown rounds. It shouldn't be allowed. Fours. I mean, Magis kills Masuta there. He full blinds him. Masuta has such a good timing. Oh my God, the gun stuck through. The barrel stuck through. It was too good to be true, wasn't it? Dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Masuta had such a good uh, tunnels fight timing, but Magisk flashed either for him or Dupree in the window, and Masuta got fully blinded on that flank. He was there to win the round, and now he might go down first so low. Kenzie has to smoke his retreat. They're coming up catwalk. They spam him out. Apex has had a lot more impact in this CT side already. And Zaiwu can see through the box. Two for him. Two on five. And Zorty blinded in middle. Mm, don't get too close, Dupree. Your barrel might go through. But just will smoke him off. And Zorty might be thinking about the save. There's a lot of time on this clock. Could try and set up, yeah, with a long flash, right? To allow this peak for Norvi. If you're able to deal with one of these long players, you can look to get the AWP set up at least down in the pit, have a bit of an impact as to how this A-side's getting played. We'll clear it dry. And Masuta's on the receiving end of that one there. Deeper flash. Norvi even dropping a smoke to give the illusion that someone's made it into the pit. That's going to make these A-side players play a lot more scared, right? They can't go swinging that long angle anymore. They've got to play boxed in. Norty and Norvi grouping up on the catwalk now, but that smoke timing is devastating. That's really sealed the deal on the round at this point. Oh. Shouldn't be any winning it. They're looking to save, but that's not guaranteed. Magis down in the lower tunnels will make it so. Doubling up to close. Vitality. And you get right back on it with a sixth. Shutting down the long play, despite it looking good for fours early on. And then the cap, the cap push is just melted by Zai Wu. It's one of these things where I think, you know, like Jerry sometimes suffers with this idea that simple solutions maybe aren't the answer. Sometimes you kind of see like the rounds get very convoluted or he doesn't want to do the same thing twice, right? He likes to keep it fresh every round, but I don't think these cat plays with Zai Wu looking so good are feeling viable right now to fours. And now they're getting mowed down on long again. Yeah, the A site's just been off limits entirely. The one success you've had is in a B round, in a round that shouldn't have even gotten one. 
Jerry sucks. Just brute forces his way into that fight. But yeah, there's the the difference is as well. There's just no gap. There's no there's no hole. There's no problem for Vitality. Apex doubles up on Long. He's having a great game right now. He's even chock full of confidence, almost too much. But he bails out of middle in time before the rifles can take him. But yeah, a lot of openers for Apex. A lot of cat and long kills for him. Four and two in opening duels already. And Vitality keep pushing. Man. Whether it's Masuta coming in on long doors or taking tunnels back with Majisk, him and Dupree have cleaned up B and fours. If they wait on this D4 any longer, they are walking to their death. See ya. Uh, wouldn't want to be a Jerry 1v4. Okay, 10 health, no chance. 7 to 1 for Vitality. Things are going swimmingly right now for this roster. A reality check for Forza. <laughs> Talking about that double opener. I was so blind. I don't know. Yeah, you know, this is where if you look at like other CIS squad, I think Spirit are a good example. I know what Chopper would be calling right about now on this T side. Right, I think I think he would feel like the time rush is nigh B. for just an all in B play, an all in B rush. Don't get me wrong. And you know, oftentimes the reads have been there for Vitality. They've kind of had extra players leaning towards B. But if you think about what the actual B players for this Vitality squad have got to experience, it was a lost 4v2. And other than that, nothing. They are playing this rotate role. And oftentimes the round is over before they even get to play into it. So they're kind of, you know, they're not as warm as, as your Zywoo's, your Apexes over towards that A bomb site. We have just been on a bit of a tear. Yeah. Okay. Still, Vitality every round are starting to be and often have Zywoo either rotating mid or Apex helping out, spamming middle as he is now. So they're, they're ready for the eventual B rush. They're no longer scared of long takes because they've multi killed fours every time they've gone for long spawns. So, it, yeah, it's very difficult for Forza to look at something and go, ah, oh, yeah, this is our way in. Corridor smokes in mid. Left and right. Can get them a good tunnel to try and take a fight in mid, but Vitality have been keen to flash through these smokes from CT side. Obviously, as said, they're leading B. They won't need to. Shafi goes up and over. He will die. No, <gasps> take that all back. Headshot okay. images. There's the split. One more man. They're not going to expect it. They're not going to read it. They might completely leave it us uh, discounted. Apex drops the bomb. And two. They've got to go back for him, but he might be on for the round. Three frags out of Apex. The in game leader leads oh. Vitality. Two and eight. Beautiful seeds. Now just Norby left to get past, even though he's dealt with Masuta. Zaiwu and Apex are back to back, and Apex wants the ace. He get wants it. them all. Oh. Instead, overextending in middle, and the nade does nothing. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. He wanted all the glory. He wanted everything. But now he's left the round open, and in with a chance. Zaiwu is low, but at 14 to 1, you're willing to hedge your bets. TikTok. Norby's waiting, hoping that a noise cue is made. No such graces, Zai Wu. Back at the B site, time is a problem. Every second passing. Norby's running out of chances here. Will he check for it? Zai Wu winning this one by playing passive. Ooh. Out with the swing, he's covered up by the barrel, but there's oh. the reveal, and Zai Wu is going to close the 1v1. Phew, Apex. He would, I would mold. He would, any, any reasonable man would mold if you kill four and lose the round. That almost went very, very wrong, but Zaiwu tunneled in, boxed to the back of the site, and uh, not to be expected by Norvi. He didn't have the time to play around. That's a beautiful sequence for Apex. Playing the triple B and fours, they double entry on the mid split, and they never clear the bomb site. They don't check car. Wow. That's that. I mean, that was fours on the money to build into this game. The two B plays, the reads. What he was holding above the smoke, but Zai Wu too quick, too clean. Whether it's openers or closers, he's got it. We spoke a lot about the kind of apparent youth and relative inexperience of some of these fours guys. 
Uh, this is where for someone like Kenzie, who's one and nine, you know, not the kind of numbers you ever want to see out of this guy. Uh, it's going to be a real test of his character oh, as to God. whether or not he can build back into this. They missed that molly, so Zaiwu is still on catwalk. Yeah, luckily enough, they don't look destined to take it. They're like throwing this fake util as though they're going for a cat play, but none of it's been sold. They didn't take long, so right now Masuta knows it's not long, and the molly oh, missed. God, they Jerry. are missing everything. Jerry. The pressure is really getting to the man. And this oh ruse has not God. worked out at every single turn. Whiffs with util has cost them dearly. You just said a couple of rounds ago, like, it feels like they're trying to overcomplicate it. And, you know, I can kind of agree, but they're really going for it in that round. Like, the util was sick. From lower, they throw a long corner smoke, and then they flash Masuta in pit. Then, but before that, obviously, Jerry misses the molly up cat, which, if anything, does them favors, because if he hits that molly, dry, as I would drop spawn, and he could kill them CT, because Jerry also jumped through the CT smoke that he didn't need to jump through. Like you said, they're flustered, and, well, yeah. Fours, a little bit bungled right now. These are very basic mistakes that you just can't make. But with every round you lose, they only get more likely, more apparent. Yeah, I mean, you know, what comes with the championship mentality that a lot of the, well, or pretty much all the players on Vitality have is this idea of, yeah, man, things might be bad at one point, but you can always turn it around. You can always build back in. For fours, they're looking at this through an entirely different lens, which is let's not be one map away from 3 0 it. Let's not be so close to doing it. Like, we have to do this. We have to seize this opportunity. And so it's in amidst that kind of rush of emotions and adrenaline that's coursing through them right now that all of these little mistakes are creeping up. They don't necessarily have that experience to draw upon to feel comfortable in pulling this back. Over in mid, oh, Dupree. It's a one for one. <laughs> they don't check for Apex again. This guy, oh. man, everywhere you go, he's waiting in the yeah. shadows, waiting in the wings, and clipping them for fours. It's only Shalfi left standing. 1v3, another clutch needed. And another one where he's just so far removed from the bulk of the round. What can you expect him to do? By the time he even gets to T-Spawn, they are already here. Apex hunting yet again, but this hunt is lovely. Look at his position. Apex is tucked in the corner at car. He's not even chasing. He's just denying any avenue through middle. This is done. This is a save. Even if Shalfi goes for it, he dies. So Vitality by double digits. And this is dominant, man. Like, this is... Just fours have had nothing. They've had two chances. One of them they did close. Even then, that wasn't... I wouldn't even call that as a chance. It was a two on four. And then the, the four on one they have on B, they don't clear Apex. So, just little issues that are spiraling out of control. And now that they're, you know, Apex is getting sold for again, Dupree going one for one in middle, completely sets Apex up for the round. And he delivers, man. He, he, he does it time and time again. Dude, how many Apex in your team when he's having like a great game must just be yeah. the best feeling ever. He's always got a little like one-liner <laughs> once the round's over. He's always laughing. Oh, that one there, spawns. he says, I almost died in my molly that round. Like <laughs> long spawns. All right, Only they're gonna try and take it. And finally, right, it's not this horrible mow down situation. It's I was up over oh. it long. He manages to make it at the car, but there is a molly. There's two of them, in fact, to try and deal with this. He will have support, right? Critically, Masuda doesn't have a smoke to lob in. So once I was used his, thankfully he doesn't have to yet. Oh, that's that's kind of saved him here. Because if he gets remollied and he'd already used a smoke, he would have to peek. It'd have to just either peek or burn out. Instead, he still has a degree of freedom. They don't even have a molly ready for him. Kenzie's up cat with his. Try peeking. One and done. Masuda on the short side wings his fight. Dupree is wrapped lower. It's unraveling here for fours, isn't it? Vitality. Just one man left to beat, and they swing him. They run at him. Apex having a hell of a game. 19 and four, top of the server. And right behind is Zai Wu. This is more what you would expect from this matchup, right? Like, maybe not this dominant. Like, fours are here for a reason, but... What a beating, and Vitality having so much fun. They also just don't respect fours because they know at this score they're in their head. Every time fours do something out of spawn, Vitality just do the opposite. Like, they hear the long flashes, they know they've lost long, 
Dupree insta pushes B upper. And so by the, by the time the cat players are even there, he's shooting them in the back. Like, Misuta's pushed long twice in this game. Both times it's been empty, even though shalfi has been defaulting outside of it in 5-on-5. In five five. So, yeah, Vitality have found all the gaps. They've they've played all the bait and switches. Zywoo's missed nothing in this CT side. There is simply not a way in for fours right now. The only thing they keep getting close to closing are these mid to bees. So I guess that's what you go back to at this point. But man, got to get your util down at least. I like it. They're going to try and be a little bit faster on this one. Apex oh. often has been that wall in middle this time yes. deleted right away. That is nice. a big opener and running the smoke through yep. the tunnels Check is nice off. for Shelfie. That's a little <laughs> less respect for a change. And Vitality, we're not ready for it. There's no winning this round in the 2v5. It's so far gone. You've just got to save from the get go. And so Fours will come in with a second once again, breaking a streak, but can't afford to be a one and done. Four rounds. Even that's ugly, and that's yeah. best case scenario here. Hey, Spirit, they pulled it to overtime with a four round T side against G2. But yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, and even then, not much saying that fours will get four. They found the way in. It's what they've been trying to abuse all half in, in doing mid to Bs, but. Vitality are now ready for it. And really, that's just Apex is having a great game, and it's the first time they've run at him, and he's not got a single kill. So, you know, it could be a very different round if he doesn't get uh, just dry peaked out middle again. But they're trying to get hyped up. They're trying to get their heads back in it. They know what they're fighting for. The 3-0, the flawless run to the legend stage for the plucky CIS underdogs versus the legendary Frenchmen and Danes. Nades dropped in spawn, you'll see as well, for later if needed. Vitality have enough money to do whatever the hell they want, including run through the smokes, Mizuta. Give it a go, you got nothing to lose, and no one even looking. Yeah, man trapped over behind blue. That molly's going to keep him cornered. Jerry tries to cross out, but Ow. now he's in the firing line. Mizuta with what? three. <laughs> what? How does he even get three there? Jerry's trapped now. They're going to flash peek him. Nowhere to go. Dodge is hit, but dead to bullets instead. And Chalfi, enjoy catwalk. We have the bomb. And I mean, eventually the penny should drop as well. This is a possibility. Yeah, Zywu now on this, or sorry, Magisk rather, now on this angle. Zywu not on any angle. No, he's been holding mid, but kind of on timing. So there is a gap and Chalfi's found it. Going to deal with Zywu. Magisk was hoping it was going to be a long swing. And it was not. Shalfi finds this one gap, but you can't win the round on the back of picking off the players on the extremities. You need to go get that bomb. And right now, it's just surrounded by vitality. You need to be very methodical in clearing these corners. And that's something that fours have been lacking. 35 seconds, and I think Shalfi's just looking to save here, looking to make a retreat out of the round. So vitality are up onto 12. Save is actually... Completely pointless, by the way. Literally makes no difference whatsoever at all. They can buy up full next round. So kind of would like to see him just go for kills, but, you know, that's his stats play. And there's plenty of money for Vitality, so it's fine. It's not the end of the world. He can still drop over a gun, enable full utility perhaps. Maybe we get the AWP in, but... Yeah, this was pretty unwinnable anyway. He was hunting for Dupree, who pushed so far through B, he was in top middle. And well, shall we? Yeah, it takes a fight. Nothing wrong with that. But as said, full money, last round of the half, last chance, and Vitality, psh, you, you'd think that this is as good as theirs. Misuta, how does he kill them? What a spray in the Molotov. Very dependable. Vitality, a 13-2 would be a bonking if they can get it. They're set towards B early on. This has normally been the recipe of success. Flash is nice. Going to get Zywu off the angle. If he tries to go back, he's not going to like what he sees. 
exchanges a nade over in mid and then hops on out of there. Now posting himself over on the long side, trying to get Masuta down in the pit. This is hopefully going to free up Apex a little bit more, who's currently down in CT. To lend a helping hand in middle. Oh, he might need it. Apex dead right away, hopping around the corner. Last time he fell without getting a kill, that led to Fours winning a round. This time the explosion, the quick ramp up of pace isn't there for Fours. They drop into a very slow round now in the five on four. Trying to make this one happen. They need a third if they want to have any hope of pulling this one back. But who's on the site, I ask? Who is waiting? It's Zywoo. I mean, the bomb's still tunnel. Like, I don't yeah. even think this is the A play. Yeah, they're going to drop Jerry into CT, and he gets Ooh, down with nice. no one having seen it. That's big, but they still have to cross. And they finally get the smoke down. One available, and it's at the perfect time. Still too strong at B. Magis, that's lovely. Gets the info at the peak. Is there any assistance here? Dupree has that cross, but just takes the kill. Dupree, next contact. He follows up. Almost two, getting his revenge. Zorti is on 10 health, and this half is done. Like it or not, it's 13 to 2 for Vitality. Fantastic round to close it out, despite Force having all the advantage and all the position. Vitality are here to play and here to long out this best of three series to Mirage. They are simply moments away from that third map in the series. And Forza have gone quiet on their map pick at the worst possible time. It's not just about losing this map, it's about losing it dominantly. You feel like you were never in. You feel like all that warmed up play that you had on Nuke is gone. And it's Vitality carrying momentum to Mirage. Just a couple of rounds out. Yeah, we questioned, you know, if losing their map pick, even though it's a competitive bout, you know, would that light the fire beneath them? And it certainly looks like it has here on Dust 2. A win in the pistol pretty much seals the deal that this is a three-map series. I mean, even without it, it's still probably a three-map series. My Wu taking a peek in middle, just making noise. Making fours paranoid. There are only two inside of this A site. Oh. And luckily enough, they do win the cat engagement. Kenzie taps out another. It's clean in this <laughs> pistol. Looking to keep five alive when all is said and done. Sheesh. And so fours at least get that under their belt, but it's still a long way to go before we even hype up this comeback out of fours. Oh, but you never know. You never know. That's the beauty of Counter-Strike, Harry. Every game is winnable. Just take it round by round. Mental can be shattered. Vitality want those guns ASAP, so they just go for a quick eco. We'll have a buy in the third. Shalfi and lower. Here to take names. But it's Vitality taking their sweet time. Let Fours sit and sweat in the scoreline. Yeah, my talent, you know, they're just kind of treating this like <laughs> a bit of a tie now. They're not expecting to win this one. Could be wow. a good warm-up for Kenzie. That's a good point. Like, if he gets a little mow down here, starts to feel a bit more faith. Eco frags can do a lot to a man. And have a chance here. Tagged, lined yeah. up, and on Woo. for the ace. He's going to get all five of them as they emerge around the corner at long. Okay. Out of all the ways to build a bit of confidence, there's, quite, you know, there's nothing quite like an eco ace. Vitality don't have to be concerned yet. They're probably not even worried at all. No one's probably even thinking about the idea of a comeback. You never know what's happening until it's too late. Yeah, exactly. That's the worst part. It's, come on, guys. Just wait one more round. Just <laughs> win a rifle. But this this is where I expect Vitality to just come swinging. Fours have read it. They've gone for the triple mob. It's a good start. Smoke will stop any Molotov madness. And so, well, Vitality won't even take it. They'll peel back. But it's uh, it's still without punishment. So concede the position but they have a whole round to play solo be on shelfie and no matter who it is and how good they are
that's always a liability on this map. As soon as Vitality figure that out, they will abuse it. Late cat smoke. As Vitality are remollied out of long. Apex sending Dupree back to the B bomb site. Yeah, lobbing in the uh, Xbox smoke as well. Going to go up and over. And just jump up from lower. Trying to give him a helping hand in getting up onto the catwalk. That re-smoke at long, little problematic, right? Going to have to wait till around about the 30-second mark as that starts to clear. Just over. Forces utility has been really good this round, but um, you know, Vitality is bleeding it out. And there's not much left. They've got HEs to try and dunk Vitality on this A site. And Four's even taking Cat. It's a good time to do it. Fantastic HEs. And Kenzie's position is pretty prominent. Yeah, Vitality might be getting out oh, long. Oh, boy. But it's this Cat fight that could decide a hell of a lot in this round. Three of them moving through this long smoke. Zai Wu. He's going to open up with one into the sight players. Is that going to be enough, though? Kenzie holding the line, oh. refusing to let up. Zai Wu's got no time to plant. Jerry, the man to close it. And Look. I mean, now, you know, Four's winning the first rifle, starting to build a bit more confidence up, right? Kenzie came into this second half with, I think it was like two kills to his name, now rising to prominence alongside the rest of the gang. I'm not going to get worried off of one gun round. Uh, Vitality give a lot of respect to Fours in, but that was really well played for Fours. Well, like, they knew exactly what was going on the entire way. They stalled with every bit of util they could. The long doors were smokes. The molly when the hinge, uh, when the, not hinge smoke, the Xbox smoke came down. The double nade on Cat. The position taken on Cat to stop that split. Everything was really clean for Forza. It's their map pick, right? We expect them to be good. It's just, you know, the, the odds are against them. The score is against them. And a couple of well-placed rounds rounds, a good call from Apex, a contact play that fours aren't ready to trade, and it can all come tumbling down very quickly. But that was a good round. Yeah, it's weird, though, because, like, the one thing that is kind of a little... Just in the back of my mind, right? I'm not saying it's going to happen. The thing that's in the back of my mind <laughs> is that, that first half, a lot of it, the reason why I didn't feel like you were watching just a normal game of CS is because in a way you weren't. It wasn't like the same level of respect, the same level of, you know, both teams being allowed to kind of run their ideas. It was just full disrespect from Vitality. And that comes yeah. with a great deal of confidence. But there's no way to like artificially build that up. You know, that just kind of comes with the territory of you getting off to a hot start. Now they're actually getting pressured a bit. They have to kind of move away from that very confident mindset of we can fight this, we can fight that, like we're just better than them. That's kind of, you know, in, in these last few rounds, that's not really been the case. And so it's just, you know, can they move back to the more cut and dry, more standard ebbs and flows of a CS game? Out onto the short side, Ooh. Masuta seems to think so. The eagle to open. Kenzie will trade one. He needs to do a lot more than that, oh. and he will hold the line with yet another mow down ah. in these A side <laughs> defenses. Kenzie's been the man, and with Zorti there to help him, it's another round on the board for fours. Yeah, only pistols, but uh, a couple of nice shots there out of the Deegs of Vitality. Still a lock in round. I was a bit scared there. Kenzie peeked very late off his flashbang, but was still able to tuck in Goose, and they couldn't clean him out. Ponks on their parade. But it's 13-6. And with every eco comes a following gun round. So Vitality, leaning B. Beautiful start, right? We know Xiaofu has been alone here in this bomb site. Now it's Norvi. If Vitality smoke a molly and go for it, man. Why not? Xiaofu, that's beautiful though. Norvi spams and they smoke the molly. They wanted to go, but he denies that first man in. And so back to the drawing board, back to a three on five, and back to the T spawn for Vitality. Yeah, and you know, they tried something new here. They tried to just go for like a, a set strat out of spawn. Apex lobbed in this kind of like cool smoke that would extinguish a molly in the long doors, coupled nice. it with a flash, and he did all that from T spawn so that he could try, you know, keep it mobile and panic, you know, the long players. But Force didn't fall for it. And so you've tried, yeah. you know, you kind of spawn exec, your attempt to do something there after the defaulting didn't really work earlier. This one's not looking so hot either. Vitality with three are creeping up cat, and they have found this gap. Right as Zorti has left this uh -oh. entirely, they've moved in. 
And they're going to get deep within the A site before it even oh, dawns no. on fours that this could happen. A one and done there is really about as good as you could have hoped for for Zorty, considering he didn't have that info wide on the angle as he went swinging out into that one. It's Molly. It's a 4v2 to decide if fours keep the rounds racking up. Do Vitality pull one out of the hat? Flashes at long. Zaiwu wants to peek with this. Making a swing into CT, but as he does so, Kenzie emerges. And Magic's dead as what? well. Kenzie, since getting that ace, looks like a new man. Was nowhere to be found in that first half. And now he's risen to top of the board for fours in what feels like the blink of an eye. Yeah, I think they got that ace gone from five to ten kills, and now he's at seventeen. Unbelievable! Incredible recovery in just a few rounds. Four's now on fire with five in a row. Yet to break the seal, have vitality on this T half, and with every buy comes an eco. What goes around comes around. Can't buy up again. Even with a bomb plant, not enough. They just want to get a half e with some util. They get to test fours again. A B rush denied in that round. And even Vitality getting a plant there is maybe more than they should be allowed, considering Zorty just got very unfortunate with his timings. We have a double orb, and Shalfi is continuing to be aggressive. Last time he pushed up middle, and this time he's deep in tunnels, but oh, can't go too far. I'll be able to trade it. So nice shot, but can he escape? Yep, just about around the corner. Molly dropped, and Shalfi lives. Vitality can't do much about it, and with two players, B they now know, who can constantly cycle utility and keep this rush out of Vitality. It's going to send them back up cat. Mid smoke will help them. They still have to jump over it, though. And look who's here. El Verde Grande. Shalfi won't see them get up. And so this is nice for Vitality. They have a chance, but there's still Zorty on the site. Kenzie doesn't have any, like, supportive utility, but just him being here and able to offer a helping hand is big. And Molly's divided oh! the push. Zywoo gets ahead of it. Only one. He's traded afterwards. Jerry now playing inside of the site. Going to duck on out of there. They are getting closer, though. These pistols are moving in for the kill. Jerry oh. with the mow down. And there's the support from Kenzie we talked about earlier. Catches them crossing. Yeah. And now fours are getting animated. They're talking again. They're getting loud. They're believing in this comeback from a 13-2 half. They're making us believe. It's kind of crazy that we're even here. Yeah, Vitality calling out their first tack timeout. This out. is where, right? Remember earlier we were saying yeah. into the first drive round, we said no one's thinking yet that this could go wrong. No one's thinking yet that fours are going to come back. That pause signifies that the mood has changed. And now they're going, okay, yeah. guys, let's just win this. We cannot let this one get away from us. Well, you said earlier you can't artificially build confidence. Well, that's not screaming confidence. Mm. It's screaming a bit of nerves. And, and rightly so, right? Pause, definitely not a bad decision. Get Zonic in. Coach of many years gone by. But even so... Forza looking really solid on the CT side. The double AWP is devastating. Zorty gets one deke there, and that was the way in for Vitality, exploding off of that kill. But Great Util, again, has been the name of the game for Forza. That molly segregated the rest of Vitality from Zywoo out wide on Cat. Zywoo's gone wide out mid, but it's Shalfi who might give up this 5 on 4. How does he hit that? And Majisk was not with him. He was holding up a tunnel in case it was a double push. It is a double push. Two AWPs in mid. Both find a pick. And then suddenly they disappear. It's just brutal right out of the gate, isn't it? And now, like, over the water long, you're hoping, oh, Masuta. Ooh, nice. All right. Well, best sorty. Hard fight Sherry. from here to have won, but are you ready for this? Ooh! Oh, Masuta is. All right, little double on the long side. There's a third man, a third contestant, and Kenzie will win the grand prize, gets that trade onto Masuta. Still, there's another man, long bound. Apex with that flash has given up the aim of the game. They know he's out on the long side. Kenzie plays inside of the site. This guy so quiet in the first half. Now trying to save the day once again over in A. Jalfi's rotating oh. middle. They've heard the footsteps. They know what's happening. While well, Apex is pushing the go, but Magisk is going back nice. to clear out Shalfi, clear out the AWP. Apex now responsible for this entry into the A bomb site. Instead, playing around this smoke. 
going to start to lean away. Give Magisk a bit of room. If he wins this, Vitality can turn it all around. If he falls, it gets so tough. It gets so rough. And Magisk just looks away. Now it is only Apex. 20 seconds. Time is not his ally here. The one thing he's got going for him is this 1v1 is available. Yep. And he's going to get it. Now just Norfie left to beat. A long wrap. And oh. there's Apex with the clutch. A double up from the captain of Vitaly. It was about time, wasn't it? He was the guy absolutely shredding fours in the first half. And he finally went quiet in this T side. He was getting picked first. He wasn't offering up much, but that was a lovely slowdown in the two on three for Vitality. They make it work. Beautiful shooting from Azuta. That's how it even started. Like this kill should never have come through onto Jerry. And Apex, he does him right. He does him just 14 rounds for Vitality after six in a row from fours. But Shalfi has a response. Long spawn on his own as well. And he gets that pick to Majisk. Fours, it's a bump in the road, but they keep driving. Nades are nice. They're, they're kind of giving this illusion that there's no one in tunnels. And once you spot that orb, you definitely won't be ready for a second man here. Jerry's going to start to take a bit of space on his own. And it is getting pincered oh. from the oh, top of tunnels. Zai Wu looking the wrong way is shot in the back. And now they've cleared the tunnels. They know there's only one place that Vitality can be right now. And that's out here towards Long. Shalfi, not wanting to waste any time with this, is taking fights right away. Using this AWP at range, it's going to oh, do its best baby. work here. In with one, but he's not content with that. Ooh. They flash him in for another, putting on a show with this AW. <laughs> he's going to close out the round. Phenomenal scenes as he picks up four. Who's the main AWP again? Someone remind me. Uh, dude, since his first AWP, do you remember his first CT AWP? He did an Xbox smoke in middle, and he ran through it and picked Apex in top middle. So, yeah, he's full of confidence with this AWP. He's been lower, he's been upper, he's been uh, on the A side, he's long picking. Shafi's all over the place. One of the youngins, one of the, uh, you know, uh, first, first major players, 4-4s. Four Case for many of them. But, yeah. Well, that smoke goes very deep on long, not what Vitality had in mind. Fours can fight through it. The AWP can even help. But no one was going long anyway. It's a B upper hold with four. Shalfi ready to uncrouch on contact. Doesn't want to get deeged. Norvi tucked in at car. Bottom performer for Forza. We've seen recoveries from Kenzie, but Norvi, this is his round now. If Shalfi goes down, Norvi has to perform. You can't give Vitality guns and a sight. Yeah, Shalfi can pick them off one at a time, but Norvi's the man needed for the spray. Oh, Shalfi with a double. Oh, Norvi's oh, dead. Oh, oh, oh. Shalfi's the man to do it all. This up at the back of the site. In with three. Needs to do even more than that, though, because his teammates have fallen all around him. Zorty moves in. It's a double AWP. Oh, double AWP moving into this B site. Magis threading the needle in between them. Up oh. in the face of Shalfi, and he's now gone. Zorty left up in this. Doesn't know where Masuda is, where he's gotten to, and amidst all this downtime, bomb still at B. Zorty moving in, not ready for Magisk. He's not considering it at all. Looking the wrong way. Magisk has slipped him. Slipped one no. past the keeper oh, and running what? in. Zorty's going to turn on a dime. No a 1v1, but he's got no clue where Masuta could be. Going to check out the window, and he yeah. sees him, but Masuta oh, wins no. it. Vitality. They pull up onto a 15th. They do it with that B rush, with the quick B play on pistols. In spite of Shafi's best efforts, three from the back of the site, it's not enough. I don't know what Zorty thought, uh, like where he thought Majisk went there, right? Like he saw the bomb in the middle of the open. He knew Majisk was on the bomb site. There's only so far he could be. Very nice try, but we've had the Frenchman come in with a couple of clutches now in Masuta and Apex, and it has absolutely saved the bacon of Vitality. Great work from Magist to even get them in that position. The entries out of the B tunnels were a necessity to set them up for the clutch. And my God, this has been a very stressful game for Vitality, but with a couple of rounds dotted in here and there on the T side, that's all they needed. It was meant to be a far quicker affair. Now fours face a third map in the series. If they don't get six in a row to start the clock over. Screaming Vitality more than ever, but this double orb has continued to take space 
all over the map. Xbox Smoke misses, careful. But that's a B pick. Norby again let down. He got nothing last round. And finally a missed shot. But sometimes that's all it takes. Mirage is loaded in the barrel. Vitality just have to pull the trigger. Yeah, this is one of these rounds where if it wasn't up against map point, you'd be saving. So they're going to try and give it a go anyway, but they're very far removed. They're carrying flanks that don't exist, and it's wasting a lot of time off the clock here. By the time Kenzie's even in position, this bomb is going to be half picked. At that point, you're doing this up-tempo. You're doing this as fast as you can. And a tag through the doors on Zorty does not help by any margin. Magis playing for the round win. If all else somehow goes awry, he's going to be there to be the man stealing it away. It's never needed. Not with Zai Wu lining them up in the tunnels. And everyone else Get is him. locked out. They Get might him. try to run him down. But Jerry's left running for the hills as Vitality take us the distance in this series. We're going.